Hi, I'm Danielle Denise, and I'm a trained opera singer. I first performed at Glyndebourne in 2005 as Cleopatra in a new production of Giulio Cesare. Something that I really focus on when I'm singing is that my warm-up exercises don't need to sound great. I'm not on audition, I'm not on show. I need to warm up my instrument, so it's just like warming up the body as an athlete. So one of the first exercises that I do when I start warming up is um, a breath exercise where you slightly purse your lips, although you don't really apply any pressure there. And essentially, you make a sliding scale up an octave. I pay special attention to uh, warm up my head resonance, so it allows me also to sort of really open up these cheek muscles and sort of start to wake up all these inner muscles in my mouth, which are gonna be contributing to the resonance as the tone comes out. After I've done some of those warm-up exercises just to run my air. Another one that I tend to do is to wake up my nasal resonance. So some of these funny exercises that probably um, I will regret doing on camera are um, one that my teacher has given me to wake up all that stretching in the soft palate where you would yawn basically, where you feel that that feeling of yawning, that's the soft palate. And then where that stretch is open is something that I have to spend a lot of time waking up. I do a lip trill that's slightly different from the conventional lip trill. Um, conventional lip trill is And I do a sort of tongue to lip trill, which is Because they really help the tongue to loosen up. good to, as you've spent time sort of warming up your breath and warming up your muscles, getting your coordination, you know, in your body going for good singing, um, to then start to do some sort of stabilization exercises. Um, and in this particular exercise, what I do is I'm sort of tying my vowels to the consonants, bringing those consonants as close to the vowel as I can. singing on the letter M and then opening it up into an R, but I'm essentially anchoring it back to the M so that as I send the air through, I'm not going to go mm -hmm. I'm going to go People really underestimate how important, the simple act of breathing, something we do every day, is so crucial to good singing. And steady understanding and flow of air is really key to a good warm-up.